welcome, welcome everybody. So we are uh, all of us here gathered today to witness uh, the marital union, union of Caleb and Avia. And we want to just uh, hear just a couple of statements about marriage and then we're going to open with a prayer. So marriage is the joining together of two individuals to become one in the eyes of God. So I can testify to uh, Caleb and Avia to your love uh, for each other and to your commitment to each other and because it is God who will provide the power to keep that love and commitment going for the rest of your lives, uh, we're going to be praying and asking His blessing uh, on this time tonight. So, Father God, thank you that you are everywhere. You're in big fancy churches and you are here in this beautiful spot uh, at nighttime here with us because Lord, you are passionately interested in Caleb and Avia committing to each other the kind of love that you have placed in their hearts for them and then for them to share with each other. And so we just thank you that you're present with us here tonight. We thank you that you have a, a strong desire for what we're about to experience together. Uh, we thank you for this moment. Well, you crafted this moment from the beginning of the creation of the world. Uh, we didn't even know exactly what it was going to be until right now, Lord. And you've made this moment as a special time for these two to commit themselves to each other. So, Lord, we're just praying your blessing would be on this time that what Caleb uh, and Avia commit to each other would be from their hearts and would be promises that they can keep for the rest of their lives. And so we just thank you for being present with us here. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So I want to read the scripture uh, that we read together last night, okay? Um, and we just want to kind of read this slowly and just again hear it and let this be a, a way to hear God's voice in this moment because this is his word and so we we receive it as his word so submit to one another out of reverence for christ wives submit to your husbands as to the lord for the husband is the head of the wife as christ is the head of the church his body of which he is the savior now as the church submits to christ so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything husbands love your wives just as christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish but holy and blameless in the same way husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies he who loves his wife loves himself after all no one ever hated his own body but he feeds and cares for it just as christ does the church for we are members of his body for this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I am talking about Christ and the church. However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. So uh, I love that uh, one line there that I just want to kind of read again because it's kind of, kind of beautiful here. Uh, that the husbands, you know, love your wife just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. So what a beautiful thing we can, we're literally standing next to water, we can hear it and think about uh, just the, the washing that Christ does over us um, to make us, as the text says here, radiant without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish and you know i got a bride is such a beautiful you know picture of that so just again all the beautiful <laughs> symbolism of what christ has done for us of the bride that he's giving you and the love that you guys can share together but that washing with the water so i love that just hearing that water in the uh, in the background so, okay so i'm going to make just a couple of comments about that passage and then we're going to get on to the vows and the rings okay so um i want to just guys and of course the three of us have talked about this many times in church there's really you know we of course say love god love others and live the love but just thinking about the two loves that we say all the time there that we're supposed to love god and we're supposed to love people well marriage it is the supreme opportunity to see both of those kinds of loves come together the love for god and our love for people but as we talked about last night, it's really the source of all that is God himself, right? God has loved you, Caleb. God has loved you, Abia. And he, of course, wants you to return that love back to him. But he really also wants you to share that with each other, as we talked about last night. And you guys have done literally for several years now. Uh, but also, if you feel that kind of propulsion to say, hey, I want to do this, you know, for the rest of my life. Take your time, take your time. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah, man, good job. So, the marriage, as we talked about last night, is literally the best possible, uh, like, picture of what that kind of love that God has given us and that we can share with other people. It's like the supreme opportunity to be able to express that love to somebody, you know, for two reasons. Number one, because of course you guys already know each other better than you'll probably know any other human being ever <laughs> for the rest of your life. I guess in five years from now you'll know each other even that much better. Um, so you have that proximity obviously makes that love more possible than like, you know, you'll ever have a chance to share it with me or I'll have a chance to share it with no I mean, you guys are just together all the time. But secondly, and, and this is just as importantly, it's not just that you guys will be spending the most time together versus anybody else in your life, but because of that, you'll actually have the most conflict, you'll have the most, you'll see each other's sin, you'll be frustrated more with each other than you'll ever be with anybody else in the end, and you guys already know that, right? This, you've never been as frustrated with each other, uh, with anybody else as you have with each other, and that's because you're together so much. And you rub up against each other and you see each other's faults, which is also the reason why marriage has the best chance of being the kind of love, because this is how God relates to us. He sees us, he sees our faults, he sees our issues, our sins, and yet he just, like the scripture says, although we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So that's why this thing that you guys are about to do in a formal way has the potential of God's love shining most clearly and most brightly. Does that make sense? Right. So, um, again, you guys can experience God's love like we talked about last night and then share it with each other. But then you guys get to literally experience and see God's love most vividly by doing this thing that we call marriage together. Because you're going to be with each other so much and because you're going to have the opportunity share that love with each other, even knowing all of the faults, all the shortcomings, all the weaknesses, and seeing the joys and the successes and the, and the celebration part that you guys are, like you were saying last night, with the dream that he has, and even all that, all, it all comes together in this beautiful way. So I just want to, but that's a realistic thing, right? So yeah. I, I know from a quarter of a century of being married, that's marriage is all those things. It's wonderful and it's incredibly difficult, <laughs> and that's why God's love to be so present. Okay, so that's, that's what I wanted to share with you guys tonight. It's very simple, um, and I pray that the, uh, you guys will have a lifetime of experiencing both the joys and finding a way through the difficulties to see God's love you. Okay, beautiful. All right. Okay, so what, what we want to do now is I'm just going to quickly also just read uh, a couple of other scriptures that talk about how we express love together, and then we're going to go to our vows. Okay, so the scripture tells us, only say what is helpful for building others up according to their needs. What a beautiful blessing to say over you guys today. Here's another one. In your anger, don't sin. Don't let the sun go down while you're still angry. What a beautiful calling to you guys as you move forward. Here's another one. Don't be greedy. Do something useful with your own hands that you may have something to share with those in need. What a beautiful thing we have to, uh, what a beautiful way to be married to do something useful with our hands so that we can share it with each other and with our family and with others. Do not let there even be a hint of sexual immorality in your life. May that blessing be always true of your marriage. Forgive each other just as in Christ God forgave you. That's going to be a day by day thing like we talked about last night, right? So may God bless you as you live a life of love just as Christ loved you and gave himself for you. So those are beautiful blessings uh, that I pray you guys will live into, okay? All right, now, of course, an important part of what we're going to do here in this uh, ceremony tonight are the verbal promises, the things you're going to say out of your mouth, but you're committing to live them, you know, for the rest of your life, including tonight, and including <laughs> tomorrow morning, and seven years from now, and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to say a very short little phrase, okay. and this is where I'm actually going to have you guys now turn and face each other, because you're all done looking at me, okay? <laughs> Um, and I'm going to say a short little phrase first for you, Caleb, to repeat okay. after me. And you're going to repeat the short little phrase. We're going to go slowly because, again, we want to make sure we can say these things with meaning. Okay. Um, you are loud, 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 loud me. Okay. <laughs> say it again. What do you say? say it loudly. Awesome. Good. Okay. All right. So are we ready? Yes. All right. So, Avia, I love you. Avia, I love you. And I know that this love is from God. And I know that this love is from God. Because of this. Because of this. I want to be your husband. I want to be your husband. So that we might serve Christ together. So that we might serve Christ together. Through all of the uncertainties. Through all of the uncertainties. And trials. And trials. Of the present and future. Of the present and future. 
I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. <laughs> to respect you and love you. <laughs> to respect you and love you. As the church loves, uh, as Christ loves the church. As Christ loves the church. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. God showed us. God showed us. The perfect example of this love. The perfect example of this love. In Christ's death for the church. In Christ's death for the church. I shall try always. I shall try always. With God's help. With God's help. To show you this same kind of love. To show you the same kind of love. For I know that in God's sight. For I know that in God's sight. We will both be one. We will both be one. Awesome. I actually love that holding of the hands right in the middle of that coming together. I love that. It's a beautiful symbol of what you guys need to be doing for the rest of your life. All right, so Avia, again, would ask you to repeat after me just very short little phrases. We'll say them slowly so you can really think about what you're saying and mean them from your heart, okay? Caleb, I love you. Caleb, I love you. And I know that this love is from God. And I know that this love is from God. Because of this. Because of this. I want to be your wife. Because of this, I want to be your wife. So that we might serve Christ together. So that we might serve Christ together. Through all of the uncertainties. Through all of the uncertainties. And trials. And trials. Of the present and future. Of the present and future. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. To respect you. To respect you. And love you. And love you. As the church loves Christ. As the church loves Christ. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. God showed us. God showed us the perfect example of this love. The perfect example of this love. In Christ's death for the church. In Christ's death for the church. I shall try always. I shall try always. With God's help. With God's help. To show you. To show you. The same kind of love. The same kind of love. For I know that in God's sight. For that I know in God's sight. We will both be one. We will both be one. Okay. All right, so Walker, we're going to have you come and share this beautiful song. You guys won't believe how beautiful it is. This is a song that Walker wrote uh, for his... You can, you can still hold hands. It's okay, because you're going to be looking at each other. And um, and uh, this is a song Walker wrote for his girlfriend, but these words are literally so perfect for this moment that you're going to see. Uh, so Walker, sing that for us. And you guys, you can still thank each other, because you, you're going to be hearing these words as a blessing over you. Okay? Walks in the park Long after dark and I'm holding your hand Listening to you laughing at some dumb joke I made Praying it's feeling won't fade away Drive down the road, the music is blasting If you sing along, my voice starts cracking We're stuck in the traffic, but I don't care what's happening Around me when I look up and see that the night sky reflects your beauty tonight. Angel eyes sparkle like stars in the sky. And I don't want to go through the night without love. love. My life, you in my arms, and go for a second. I let down my guard, and the feelings I've kept in time somehow seems frozen. I get lost in the moment with you, and I look up and see that the night sky reflects your beauty tonight. And your eyes sparkle like stars. In the sky, and I don't want to go through the night without the love of my life. Cause the night sky reflects your beauty tonight, and your eyes sparkle like stars in the sky. I don't want to go through the night without the love of my life. Yes, in night sky reflects your beauty tonight. And your eyes sparkle like stars 
The sky ain't high I don't wanna go through the night Without the love of my life Without the love of my life You are the love of my life Beautiful thank you Right. All right, what a beautiful blessing over you guys. And so, uh, Caleb, have you brought a symbol of your commitments that you give to yes. Avia tonight? All right, so <laughs> here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to um, ask you guys to look at the ring, and I want you to think about this in this moment and for the rest of your life, that this ring is an outward sign of an inward spiritual union. Did you see that ring kind of go on and on? The spiritual union that God creates here today, two individuals becoming one. And now as a symbol of your love and of your deep desire to be forever united in heart and soul. Caleb, you may place the ring on Avia's finger and then once again repeat these words after me. Avia, I give you this ring. Avia, I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. <laughs> in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In love and to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. And then, Avia, what symbol of your commitment have you brought to give to Caleb? All right, so the ring here, again, that symbol beautiful of that eternal union and that you guys can experience together. So, Avia, as I say these words, may you repeat them from your heart uh, to Caleb. You can place that ring on his finger. Caleb, I give you this ring. Caleb, I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. I choose you to be my husband. I choose you to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. So let's pray. Father God, as Caleb and Avia hold hands and exchange these rings, we pray that your power would become perfect in this union, both tonight, in the days to come, in the weeks to come, in the months to come, in the years to come, in the decades to come, that they will experience your love flowing from you into their hearts and they would be able to express that love to each other, to share your love with each other and that your power would over and over again give them the strength that they'll need in every moment of weakness, in every moment of celebration, in every moment to share your love with each other. And we're praying that that would go on and on and on into the future that they do not know today, but that can be defined by you giving love to them and them giving your love to each other in a beautiful, beautiful marriage that we pray we bless Noah and bless this new baby that's coming. And we just thank you that tonight, God, your presence is here with us and your power is uniting them in ways that only you can understand and that we can get glimpses of through their union together. And so we love you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so... It is by the authority invested in me that I now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. <laughs> hey, good. The onlookers come. I love it. Hey.